Welcome to the Backgammon Cash Game Shoeette Edition, featuring three very well-known players. The first being two-time world champion, Mochi, otherwise known as Masayuki Mochisuki. Or is it the other way around? <laughs> we have New York gambling legend, Abe the Snake, and we have one-time world champion, Nevzet Dogen. I will be your host. My name is Justin Noel, and we are about to enter the realm of the backgammon chouette. Now, I've created a diagram to explain what one is for anyone that has not seen one played before. Here is my Photoshop ability. All right. So, we have two sides to the board, the board being the line in the middle. On one side, we have the box, and we can see they are sitting by themselves, which means they are playing by themselves against everybody else. They're playing against the team captain, and the captain will be playing all the checker moves, rolling the dice, uh, making all of the final decisions that the team comes up with. Uh, the team, in this case, we just have player one. There's three players in total in this game today. We have the box, we have the team captain, and we have player one, but you can play with as many players as you'd like. Three players, four players, five players, six players. I've seen 10 players play. And each individual player has their own cube, and they can cube whenever they like, right? They can cube with the captain. They can cube before the captain. The captain can cube, and nobody else can cube. A few players can cube. Some can wait. It doesn't really matter. One thing to note, though, is that you cannot discuss moves with the captain until the cube has been turned. So the captain plays, and the captain plays, and the captain plays, right? But you have no input on the checker plays until you've turned your cube. When the cube has been turned, the players can then discuss with each other, right? about what they want to do, what they think their game plan should be, should they hit, should they not hit, should they do this, should they do that. But that is a privilege that is only granted to the players on the side once they have turned their cube. That's it. Uh, there are many other rules that can be incorporated into a chouette. You can make up any rule you'd like. There are tons of them. Uh, they change from game to game, from country to country, from city to city. You can do whatever you'd like, but those seem to be pretty common. So in this game, those are the rules. It is simple as that. Let's get to the games. I'm your host, Justin Knoll, of course. If you would like any lessons with me at any time, please feel free to contact me at backgammonuniversity at gmail.com. This game is already in progress. Uh, I started the recording a few rolls in. This happened after the cash game match with Mochi and Abe that was played about a year ago. I just haven't had time to do the video, and I am doing it now. Uh, it was on a whim. Shuet started. I said, wait, guys, wait, guys. Let me get this on film, too. And, uh, well, I did. You can see here. We have Mochi playing on the bottom. I have his name here. I'll be switching out the players' names with who's playing uh, whatever side of the board they're on at the time. This scorecard that's up is just left over from the cash game that they played before, the speed match. And it will be taken away in a few games. I'm sure of it. We can hear people arguing in the background. You can also hear me talking in the background at some points. If it gets interesting, I'll stop talking if they're talking about this game. But a lot of the stuff we're talking about has nothing to do with what's going on over the board right now uh, because no one's passed a cube yet, and that would be against the rules. I'm interested to see this video as well. It's been a while. I think he should probably keep both anchors. I would play except I didn't bring anyone. I had a nice set three one back game was nice, but I could play. Yeah, he should definitely just keep the double anchors there. You know, when the guy has two anchors in his board, it makes it really, really difficult to bear in. Uh, I can see what he was trying to avoid, but having both anchors just 
generally ends up making it much more difficult for the other guy to come home. It stops him from being able to point on you. Uh, you know, you're down in the race a ton, so having both anchors really would be beneficial. Six two should probably just go to the three. Ah, uh, yeah, so I've also added a video feed on the right-hand side of the XG analysis that you guys can see about you know what the best moves were after every given roll. So you can see what they play. <laughs> Jason's talking about Abe playing a rope-a-dope style in the cash game previous to this one. Yes, yes, just play down. You've got both anchors. You don't need to have that point, and you don't need to play. Yeah, but you, you can be breathing like cat shit during this. The other time, I didn't want to like say anything. You know, it's like, oh, what is it? I don't know. I still managed to sit in the church. Still managed to sit in the church. I can't help it. Yeah, interesting decision, actually, putting a guy on the six. I can see Mochi's point here. It duplicates the six to hit and cover. He has to break his anchor to hit you. It's definitely a difficult decision. I'm also going to be updating the score on the side if I remember to do so. I've written down the scores, what's going to happen after each game here on the left. I just hope to remember to do so as we go along. Mochi is asking Abe when he wants to double, and he says he's going to double very late in this game, which is funny because he's an aggressive doubler in general. But in this match, he's also playing the, the world's best backgammon player, which is Mochi, and he is, uh, or his thought in the beginning is that he's not going to try to give him any easy ones. In the background, we're talking about another position that happened in a shoot the day before. I was playing in a game, another player was playing in a game. The position was crazy, and I was trying to talk somebody out of making like a 250 blunder. But my discussion with them was unsuccessful. Five, three. Uh, we can see I've also added the dice rolls to the top. So if you ever have a hard time seeing the dice rolls over the board, you can see the XG overlay right above the player's names or right below the player's names on the bottom side. Also, we have the pip count there, so we know what's going on. Mochi has decided to double. This is a very small double, very easy take when you're holding that 608 contact. Uh, Mochi sees, though, that when he does break the contact here, and he does get missed. He's clearly lost his market, so he needs to fill a queue. Before that happens, Abe knows he just doesn't win a lot. And it's the first game. Nebzat rolls the five. And he does not get hit back. There is the cube. So we saw there in the first game that Mochi cubed and Abe did not cube. Right? Therefore, Mochi loses two points. And Abe only loses one. Nevzat wins three. And that is the beginning of the game. So you can win and lose at different levels here, right? Mochi doubled. The cube was on two. He got redoubled to two. Pass. He loses two. Abe never doubled. The initial cube starts off as one. Mochi loses two. Abe loses one. That's that wins three. Hit and enter seems really clear. The number here is double ones. Abe rolls a perfecta. Two, three. Abe says he doubles. And we pass, of course. Massive pass, down 21 pips in the race. Position's overwhelming. <laughs> So Mochi wins one, so he's minus one. He's at zero. Nevzat is 
still plus one. I think 5-4, you should just run to the mid. Yeah, you know, you're up in the race, you're just trying to extract your back checkers, and now you were blitzed, and you have a blot on the outside, and you fanned against that Abe Snake magic. I've done a little editing here. The score is updated. The names are updated for the next game. I've gone through, hopefully in post-production, and have added the correct names in the right spot. We shall see. It is now Abe and Nevzat's time to shine. Abe splits with the five deuce. Six three should just uh, run all the way past the anchor. Yep, all the way past, sorry, the high point on the eight. Six one makes the point. Six one makes the point. And this number is three two. So the three hits and the two should anchor. Since you can see with sixes out, anchoring is fine instead of stepping up. That's a great shake. Five, three makes the five point. Three, one also makes your own five point. Six, five, five hits. Six comes around, of course. Not of course. You can actually come out with both as an option. Great. Five, six fans, cube. You're up a trillion in the race. The guy on the roof, you fanned, and now the position is just like you've just blown past your market. Okay, Abe doesn't care. Two more points for him. Abe says you have to act in order, Mochi. You have to act in order, Mochi. Uh, because you don't want every player at the table playing as well as Mochi, right? So you have to... Uh, you got to ask the guys to play in order. We should see that the score always adds up. Abe is plus four, Mochi is uh, three, and we're going to change the players now so I don't have to do any editing again. Mochi is on top. Abe stays on the bottom. Abe is still the box. Abe rolls four, two. He makes the four point. One, two, split and comes down. Okay, Mochi gets to anchor, and he also gets to make the nine, of course. This seems clear. Three, three, this is an ideal. So Abe has a process, which is really good. I, I mean, I've used this for years, but everyone that's new to the game should definitely think about doing this, but just playing the force numbers first. You know, he knows he's going to want to come up to the 20. He knows one is going to come down. And then he has to figure out which one he should play with the other. Three's the six, two hits. Two, four, okay, the two enters. Four makes the anchor on the 20. Perfect number. Six, two, runs out with the other guy, another perfect number. Six, four. Well, okay, I guess he has to run out. And Mochi is up. 24 pips in the race. He's doubling. We can see that it's a small no double. Easy take, even though there's tons of shots because while well, the seven point isn't made and he has to clear the 13 and the 14 point, which isn't easy. And sometimes he enters and makes the anchor. Sometimes he enters and hits. Three, four, he should just come down. No, you should not hit. You don't want another guy sent back. That would be bad, but he hits anyway. Oh, and Abe hits two, and six comes out, of course. Of course. You need the flexibility here. Three, six, okay. Oh, wow, look at this. He's supposed to hit. Oh, that'd be so impossible for me to play as well. Wow, that was a really big blunder by Mochi there. Very, very, very tough play. I don't think there's any way I would not have made that mistake myself. Four, one. Wow. I mean, I can see why now when you really look at it. You really just don't want those two blots to move. You know, you've got ace and deuce shots there, and if you put the guy on the roof and he underperforms, you might be able to pick up everybody. Maybe I could find that one if I took my time. <laughs> wow, sick play. What's the number? Three, two. Looks good. Double six, wow. Just comes all the way around. And what's the number, six one? So Abe's thinking about jumping out, but he can see that he's only down by eight pips. 
And the problem with jumping out into the contact right now is he's still in this race. And if he gets hit, he's losing all of his racing value, right? So he could just play in and not give him the threat, right? Now, if he was down way more, then it would be less of an influence in his decision. He might just hop out because he could enter, come in deeper. But he's not really down in this race by very much, so getting hit would be devastating to his winning chances. You can see the equities on the side. He's not really losing by a lot. And he's holding one cube, and one cube is still in the center. Double fours, okay, that helps the race a lot. Six five, okay. He's doing good. Another cube, wait, who cubed first? Oh, I think that was Nevzet's cube earlier. And then Mochi, that was Mochi's cube. He takes it anyway. So in this format, it's hard to tell whether or not uh, one player's take or cube later on was a good cube or not, because we're looking at the games on a game by game basis. As the game is being played, you can't just add in a second cube. The computer program doesn't really understand looking at Chouette's that way. Uh, it would be nice if it did, but it does okay. not. So you can look it up yourself, um, or you cannot. It's up to you. Double sixes, <laughs> four three, and now Abe has a redouble, a redouble, and a pass, and a pass. The come from behind victory. The the Abe Snake special. Four cube for you. Four cube for you. Oh, it's only a 37 millipoint pass. Down by 11 pips. Abe only has 58 pips, but there's some deficiencies here. I know it's a pass, and if we do our formulas, we're all going to find the pass here. Uh, what's funny is how small this pass is, actually. I would have thought it was bigger, but you know the deficiencies in his position. Uh, doesn't have any checkers on the six point. That's a negative. Has checkers on the ace point. White doesn't. That's a negative for blue. Uh, so I'm assuming they're going to pass and Abe is going to win this game. So why don't I mark up the score? Abe wins four points. He's plus eight. Mochi loses two. He's minus five. Nevzet loses two. He's minus three. And now I get to change the players on top from Mochi to Nevzet again. And they're setting the board back up. What did it take? <laughs> <laughs> Abe's rolling like himself again. Six pips. At the end, he's only down six pips. I say these things in the background. When I'm watching these over the over over the board, I do not know the pip count. I am not counting. I have no desire to count when I'm watching and talking crap to people over the board. Four two hits. So Abe's up eight points. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, man. Six hits, four comes down. I like the other one uh, for one small reason. Double twos, of course, would get you hit, which would slow a lot of your momentum. Double twos, you enter, you make the four. That's always what you do. And then do you want another guy outside as a shot, or do you want to just play up? Uh, you can make an anchor, actually. Or you could go to the 21. Hmm, tough. Double five. Wow. And a fan. And another victory for the Abe Snake. Wow. Quick, quick. Ten points for Abe. Another minus. And now he's playing Mochi again. I say this out loud just to remind myself to change the uh, information on the screen. <laughs> so 5-2 here. I would just probably run all the way to the 20, sorry, to the 13 point. All right, you're just playing cleanup. This isn't good. You're just uh, stripping your midpoint too early and creating super heavy stack on the eight point. I don't see the benefit in that. So Mochi attacks him. Wow, Abe attacks back by making the 20 point anchor. 
A6, not ideal. Tough decision. I would have automatically come out to the 18, but Mochi finds the best play. He sees the stacks, and when you're playing against stacks, you don't want to split into the stacks because it opens up their blitz value. Abe, of course, rolls double sixes, right? When he's rolling, he is someone to be feared. That is for sure. Someone asked a question about the number on my board. I'm explaining where 1603 comes from. It is the area code of my home state, New Hampshire. And Abe missed a double again, of course. And now he's doubling. What is he, a timid doubler now? It's only going to give it when it's a pass when he's playing the mochi man. These, uh, these cubes are both on two. That is not a four cube. He just haphazardly threw it out there at him to... Uh, to troll the man, of course, and Abe wins two more points. Plus 12, Mochi's minus seven, and Nevzet is minus five, I think. Looks good to me, double checking with the paper over here. Six five, Nevzet's allowed to roll good too, that's good to see. Double threes, all right, and the punishment ensues. Four six comes out. Nevzet doubles for him and Mochi because Abe is still the box after winning one, two, three, four, five. Is it six now games in a row? I've lost count. I I don't even know. He looks, he assesses. And if you think he's passing this against Nebzad, there's no way. He's not passing it against Nebzad. He's not passing it against Mochi. It doesn't matter how many world champions up he's up against. He's taking these cubes. Four, six. Okay, easy. No problem. Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, he hit me, 4-6. Simple stuff. Double ones, he's just looking for the most efficient way to play it. Whew. Abe is on a heater. Getting them points back from that heads up match against Mochi. <laughs> oh, man. That's right. I drink water out of a goblet. A goblet. <laughs> oh, man. All right. He found the most efficient way to play it, leaving the five and six slotted. Great move. 6-2, what is this? 4-3, another 6-2, okay. Six, one. Ah, uh, you see, he's leaving a shot but not solving the problem of the, the point on, on, on the 15. He could just clear that. You see, he's still leaving a shot, but at least if he gets away with it, he's solving one of the problems. The three's duplicated to hit and cover, right? Now, you know, he'd be shooting at more Abe fans for the first time all day. They're trying to find a way to come around. I don't know why I just don't make the eight. You know, for one, it stops double fours, which would be disgusting. I know it's only double fours, but I mean, if it happens, I cry. These are all really, really, really technical plays that, like, I would stop and look at, you know, but it, it's interesting in a chouette, um, especially one when you're playing with non-professionals, the speed at which you choose to play, even though there isn't a clock, because you don't want to be the guy that's slowing down the action because then people might not want to play with you, right? It's good to give action, to get action, it's good to play fast because the players you're playing against might play worse, right? 
Um, but then also you can see when you have it on video that like, hey, there are things I might not have done had I been playing slower, but you can't really play slow against a lot of people because this game is more fun when you play it fast. 6-4, and, and I mean, it looks like Abe is just trying to get off of like uh, what might be a running gammon. Oh, now we just rolled boxes again. I mean, does he buy stock in those? Where can I, where can I get them? Now Abe is actually legitimately trying to win this race right now. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> and somebody finally got Abe out of the box, and he lost four points. So let me just switch the players real quick. So the player on top is still Nevzet. He is now playing Mochi, and I'll adjust the score. So Abe lost four points. He's plus eight. Mochi won two points. He's minus five. Nevzet won two points. He's minus three. All right, on to the next game. I have to remind myself to do this, or, or we're just going to get lost here, folks. We're just going to get lost. Even with this piece of paper I've written on the side, it doesn't make it much easier for me. 5-4, double hit. 4-1, both come in. Double ones. We got both points being made. 2-6. Uh, game over. Now we're talking about the shoe at the day before right now. Abe, uh, Abe has a volatile style, you know, where he takes a lot of cubes, and so he has big swings that he's used to over the years of playing. Me, I'm not used to them, you know. He's up 50, down 50. Double. Oh, he takes this cube. Right? He's got nothing. But I guess he waited a while to play. I mean, maybe. Uh, that's a tough one. Two enters, four hits again. One, six. Now you've got three on the 24. That's a recipe for disaster. You don't want to be in a game like that. Two and six. Okay, he keeps the back of uh, the prime slotted. He wants the five prime next, then the six prime. 2-1 just comes all the way up. Uh, so during the recording of this, we, we started to have a little audio issues when I was putting all this together. So you might be able to hear some clicks of the audio in the background. The only thing I was able to do to fix it is to kind of rewind the video a few seconds, which you'll notice I did here. Um, and we're going to see these sequences again. Uh, I started doing them in between games, but it started happening in the middle of this game took me uh, 10 months to re-record this section again. <laughs> but this is what we've come up with. We're just going to rewind a few seconds. I think later on, I'll just let it replay. And then later on, I realized I could rewind and then also fast forward. And it doesn't really look like we've messed up much of in the timeline that way. But the audio crackling was a bit too much. Uh, and this seemed to have solved it, despite not being able to fix what's happening in the actual program. And we've got ourselves a four cube. Wow, two on the roof. What do you do here? Pause your video, pause your video, pause your video. There's two on the roof. You've got two guys back. There's a four prime. Ah, oh, it's not even a cube. Mochi assesses, takes with two on the roof. He hits and comes down with the four. A six, only one comes in. Six, and then the five comes down. Yes, just like this, we cover, of course. One, two, both come in. Wow. Double twos, wow, great play. So we step up, great roll, and then we just come down. Seems reasonable, right? I mean, you only really get to win if you get to make the seven. I mean, this is tough. White needs to come out. They need a six, like right away. Yes, you should come out and then play over. You can't stay with three guys back, right? What's the best play? Just making the deuce? Wow, I would not have made the deuce. Ace, 
and the six comes out. What a shot rolling that ace there. Double six fan. Five two. Whew. Brutal. Two in the four can't even clear itself. He has to stop here. Yep, he has to slot. The four hits, of course, for the gammons. Gammons paid double. There's four cubes here, by the way. That would be big. He's down 75 pips in an ace-deuce game, and he just got to make the bar. White really has this game dominated. You see that it would be too good if, to redouble if he was holding onto the cubes. Blue does not have great timing to play this game. They'd really like to be down about 100 pips playing this against an ace-deuce, have more flexibility, but they're rolling little, which is good. 6-5, they only have to play the five. That's perfect for them. And now the board breaks. Slot the one. Okay, double ones, that's a perfect number. You want to be able to, to play as slow as possible. No, 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 no. You clear the eight, yeah. You clear the eight because you want him to roll a six now. You want the guy to roll a six because then he has to come off the 23 and then you attack him with a vengeance and a fury unlike the world has ever known. Two and then four. He's trying to keep himself from killing checkers. He's also trying to keep himself from rolling a six. That ace is magnificent. So the next six, oh, double fours. That leaves a shot. You do not want to roll that big. Wow. Three, six, it hits. Okay. But his board is busted. He's a favorite to enter. It's going to take a lot of work. Mochi comes out. 6-1 just comes all the way around. Yeah, just comes out. 6-5, okay. Come out with both. Just real coverage. But there's so many indirects that hit. 3-1 is not one of those numbers. 5-1 to one seems to be the only legit play. 5-3 doesn't hit. 5-3 makes the 13. Just control, being six away. It stops him from coming around, right? It stops his, like, double sixes, stops his double threes. You know, five one doesn't hit anymore, four two. The sixes, it all just kind of stops him from coming around with those small numbers, which is what you're looking for, trying to create direct contact with him so you can get him and send him back. Oof, crazy game. Double threes. See, double threes, right? Doesn't get to go anywhere, and now he has to break the six. This could be bad. Six, five misses, though. Uh. Got some real action here. What do you do here? You play 23, play, play 23. 17, 11, and come off with the five. So the five, and then the... Oh, wow, that really just plays open. That's some double hits, which I don't love. 5-4, that's a perfecta. Oh, no, it's not. It doesn't land there. But it doesn't matter. They miss. 5-2 slots the 6. 6-5. Six, oh, wow, this is a big error, actually. You're supposed to make the 1 and just take a single guy off so they can't pick up multiple checkers. 2-1 this way. 6-5, okay. An ace, that's terrible, it leaves a shot. He has to hit. 12 numbers hit back. 2-5, that's one of them. He fans. He has how many checkers off? Six, four, two. Do you want a slot, he says. Mochi says, I think so. He doesn't see how he can win without making the point. And now they've got a strong position, right? They just need to make the five. No, they did not roll a two. Six, one, they still need to make it, so he leaves it there. Great play. He rolled the five on the floor. I know it. I can see it. The five is on the floor. <laughs> he missed. No redouble. 
feel like a golf <laughs> announcer, you know? She's taking her roll, no double. The one oh. covers, the four comes in. Six men off. Hmm. Mochi so. and Abe are a favorite. Going to find the recube. Oh, they both double. We got eight cubes, folks. Eight cubes. And it's a take. Will he take it? You see, when you're playing a match, your buy in is already gone. So you can take takes. But when you're playing for money, are you going to take the three percenter here, you know? Are you going to find the 31 milli point error and just take this eight cube? <laughs> hoping to get lucky. Now, if everything was jammed onto the ace point, this would be an easy take, right? It wouldn't even be a recube. Them having high spares on their structure is really bad. The first time they roll a six, Nevzak can enter. But the problem is, even when he enters, he's going to be rolling ones and twos and ones and twos and ones and twos. This would not be a double if everything was on the ace. But because everything is stacked so poorly on the three, it is a massive cube and just a super small take because he's got six guys off. No. Right? Six guys off is big. If everything was on the ace, it'd be like 70, 30. Abe thinks it wasn't even close, probably a no double, but it was actually like 3% away from a pass. So now Abe is playing. And Nevzet is minus 11. He lost eight points that game as the box. Abe won four. He's plus 12 again. Mochi is now only minus one. Should have hit on the outside, the bot says. We must trust our computer overlords. They know all. Six five, this is tough. Do you cover the deuce? Do you cover the seven? Leave the blot in your board? And bring the other guy around? It seems clear to the computer that making the seven and coming down to play Mochi finds is the best play. Um, tough, but very strong. Four one, so the four covers, right? And then the one probably steps up. Just because the eight point is stripped, it puts pressure on the eight point if they roll four twos or five threes, things that might want to make a point. Now they get shots, right? Six five now, okay. That should run around the corner. Oh, the four two should have made the nine. Interesting. Doesn't give 2-5, doesn't give 4-3, doesn't give 4-6. Makes a little outside structure. I guess that makes sense. Tough to find. 5-3 is strong. Just go into the 5. Three, four. Well, the 3 makes the point. The 4 should just come down, aiming at making the 5 again. 2-6 hits. What a shot by the Abe Snake. 4-1, so the 1 comes in. What is it, 1-4? No, it must have been 1-5, right? Because the 4 would have hit. 2-6. Great shot. 2 steps up. 5 goes to the ace, of course. Got to get some freedom. You don't really love going to the A ace. Abe hates going to the ace, but everything else leaves a shot, so you must not leave shots. Oh, wow, he just makes the five. Switching was correct, followed by eight to six. Tough. But after you see double fours, then you realize why they call him the snake. He can snake his way out of any position. Five one fans. Double take. Abe, actually, I mean, <laughs> Abe says they both cube. Mochi pulls out the cubes for both of them and then scoops them. 6-2 makes the 4. 2-5 shows why it was an easy take. 5-4 now. Pay now, pay later. Abe and I have 
had conversations about these extensively. He knows to pay now. Check out for my pay now, pay later video coming soon to a theater near you. Mochi hits with the two six, which punishes him for a good play. Count the race, 13, 11 cubes. Finds the no redouble because he's down in the race actually by 13 pips. Now he's up in the race by a mile and is probably going to be playing on too good. Abe fans. Mochi was down in the race, which is why he didn't double. Now he's up by a ton. So that should just come into the five. We're not leaving shots. Oh wow, look at that. Breaking the eight is right, giving yourself more builders to make the three strong. Abe rolls double sixes again, but from the root this time. One six, still too good. Because even if he rolls two six, you can just cube then. Double six, and we don't leave shots, right? Six five, two. No, five five. Uh -huh. Six, six, shot time. Abe's favorite number is double six. So do you think he's gonna miss? Six, four, okay, close to double sixes. Close enough, got the six. And now Mochi hates that he was playing on. They discuss it. They play eight to four, the correct play because it's an extra builder to make the points. Double ones, they get to make the three. Two five, in and out. Like 20 X numbers hits. The four does hit. Five comes out, maybe they get to make the six prime. Two, oh, a two, he wants a two. Two four, okay, not lovely. But better than fanning, I guess. Three two hits. Oh my God, another two and a five. Wow, he's in and he's out. Enter, enter, enter. No, he fans. Oh, now he's thinking, am I too good again? Right, but after that last fiasco, there's no way I'm playing on too good again. I'm doubling in a heartbeat. I'm doubling on the come, six, six, two. Abe always rolls a six, be careful. Now he doubles. Nebzet is back in. We're going to adjust the score. Mochi just won four points, so he's finally in the plus column. At plus three. Abe lost two, he's plus 10. Nebzet won two, right? No, he lost two again, so he's minus 10, right? Is that right? I don't think that's right. Mochi's plus three. No, Nevzet is now minus 13. Yikes. It's a dice game, they say. 2420 is the best play, really. That's a tough find. Um, I guess most fours and fives really aren't going to hit you. They just leave so many blots. So you might as well come up and put pressure on the guy on the, uh, the 11 point. Or six. Makes the two points. I guess Nevzet was what? Maybe he was minus 11 before. I hope I had the score right. Maybe I didn't, but there's no going back now. Ah, uh, these are such interesting plays. You see, Mochi's board is so strong. Initiating contact with someone that's out boarding you while you're up in the race just is not generally a recipe for success unless, of course, they choose to fan all the time. There's another blot out there. They've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 checkers in the zone. Mochi's facing both of these two cubes. He knows it's an easy take. Despite the pressure, 
So there's the one, and the three gets cleaned up, and now he's just, uh... One, double fours, it doesn't move. The 11 point proves its worth. This is atrocious for the white team. They have to switch. Five, one, okay. Five, two. Wow. Nevzek goes, do you want to go all in? Listen to him talk. What about next time? What about next time? He says. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Still, let's do it. Let's do it. What do you think? I, I, I let's do it. You're fine. It's fine. It's the DMP play for sure. That's the way to win. Just split <laughs> and hit and just go for it. He could fan. Mochi's thinking about redoubling. What about fanning? <laughs> what about fanning, Mochi? You could fan, right? Sixteen numbers keep you on the roof. That could be bad. This would be a massive blunder if Mochi redoubled this. Does not miss. One five dice on checkers plays. This is a great shot. And he redoubles. He finds this recube. This is strong. Ace to hit. One guy back, but he's down like 30 pips in the race. So, I mean, this was not an easy find for me, though obviously we can clearly see positionally uh, blue is really strong here, especially with those threats. A6. I mean, I'd love to make the 7, but not at the cost of it being a double blunder and leaving... 20x numbers to hit on the outside. 20x is like 20 plus whatever the combination numbers are. Yeah, he's looking at it, but he sees the 20 numbers plus 6, 4, and 6, 5, and 24 hitters is 24 hitters, and 12 missers is not a lot. So he chooses the safe play. Clearly, a 1-5 has to come out. I mean, when all else fails, just play simple. 3-2, you got missed. You can't hit. The guy's got a five-point board. Five three, okay. He doesn't get to anchor there, which is what he was hoping for. Four two, he could make the two points. Seems clear. What's the number? Four four. Oh, we can't come out and do a triple shot, so you got to stay down in and in. What's the number? Five three. You hit, yeah. I mean, you can't just let the last guy go now, right? All the other guys are gone. Oh, he hits, 3-2. He comes up. Yeah, I mean, what else are you going to do? You're going to bury a checker? You don't need to slot. 4-6. Mochi's done that a lot. 3-1 makes the 4. 2-1, pick and pass. 5-2 fans. Mochi's still down 29 pips. The other guys are holding four cubes. What's the number? 3-1. She could just play two down off the 13. Seems reasonable. Gives you good distribution. 2-5 fans again. 6-5 makes the 7 point. So now if they don't roll a 3, which they do roll a 3, they get to step up. That's good for them. They want a point on the guy. 5-4 does point on him. 1-4. So there's your 4. There's your 1. Do they get to make the 7? Yes, they do, and they bring it in. 
now the board's broken. You're just trying to hit the guy off the one point now and bring this home safely. Like six, five is a bad number here. Four, three is a perfect number. It makes the point. You don't want to roll an ace here. Good. They come in. Like a six, one, five. Like those numbers are really, really bad in that spot. Double ones is perfect. Little numbers gets guys off. Maybe Mochi goes for the G. Your gammons here are next to nothing. You generally just choose to win instead of going for them with just one checker on the roof. Double six, though, it might just come. Double two is a fan. Oh my god, two one. Did he fan? No, double fours. Wow. That's like a gammon saver. He could roll two one, he says. Double twos. Oh, that's not the double that does it. And double twos for them as well. Okay, okay, okay. We see, we see, we see. So Mochi was just playing on the bottom as the box. He wins eight points in total. Nevzet switches out with the ape snake. Mochi is now plus 11. So I just had to fix the video there as well for the audio clicking. Abe lost four. He's plus six. Nevzet lost another four. It's minus 17. Tough day at the office for Nevzet, but this is a dice game. He's a world champion of backgammon. He knows the swings that are involved in this game, and he knows that he can work his way through them. Some days you have days where you win 100 points. Some days you've got days where you lose 100 points. It's just the nature of the game, and we all know it, and it still sucks. But what can you do? Anchor. Down, yes, of course. Please make the, the anchor. 5-4, okay. Just slot the, slot the points, yeah. This seems good. I, I like how we kept all of the spares on the 6-5, uh, sorry, the 6-7 and 8 there so he can have better distribution to make other things in the future. That's a good technique to learn, even though he's was putting a checker on the two point, which is less than ideal, at least having a check a spare on the eight gives him a little more flexibility when it comes to making the other points. Keep that in mind. Abe is looking for double sixes again. Of course, he should just put a checker on the three. The three is more important than the one, even though it does take that spare away. You don't really need the eight in the future. Maybe you break that in order to make something else. Having the one point stinks, but what can you do? Double threes makes the seven. Six two. Look at that. Eight to two, six to four. An ugly play, leaving no shots, even though there's a blot in the other guy's board. does not want to leave a shot this time, though he left one last time. He could cover this go around. Yeah, a very, very tough distinction there. 5-4. 2 3 5-2, brings it in. Looking at the race, Mochi's up 10 pips, double twos doesn't get to go anywhere, you have to break the eight. It's not what he was looking for. He was hoping to come out with both so we could control the outfield, but now Abe controls the outfield with double fours. Six five comes all the way around. Yep, and he's checking out the race. I'm up five pips. I've got this and I've got that, but five pips is not a lot. He really has nothing in this position. You can see, he had twenty percent error to offer this cube. Six five now that takes a big race lead. He 
He's up five pips right now. Apparently. He says two. Nev's that doubled a little out of order, but no big deal. Abe cares if it affects him. <laughs> it doesn't, so whatever. And Mochi is uh, doesn't care. You got to come out. You can't stay there and get, like, pick and pass, right? Like, that would just be awful and definitely ruin a lot of your winning chances. And just bring the guy in. It's a crossover, you know? It's a race. You got to bring the guy in. But it didn't really um, matter that much. It's funny because sometimes it's right and sometimes it's wrong. Mochi gave a lecture on these during the Metropolitan Note, but I think it's online somewhere. I was there in person in attendance for the lecture. Where are the cubes? Five one. Five two. Six five. Two one. Not ideal. Double ones, that is also bad. Five, two. Mochi puts the cubes back. Mochi loses four points. Two points? How many points did Mochi lose? Mochi didn't start that game. Well, I've got the score here. I've got so many things going on. I'm just going to update the score from what I have on the paper. Uh, Mochi was the box, right? So Mochi lost four points. So he's at plus seven. Abe won two. He's at plus eight. And Nevzet is at minus four. Got it. Now Nevzet is on the bottom. Whew, we're settled. Halfway into this game. Double five spans, double six. Oh my goodness, the blitz. Does Abe just roll these on demand? Double twos. He switches the points, gets rid of the gap, six. Oh my goodness. Oh. The six four covers. Wow, three guys on the roof. Hit this man an ice pack. Wow. So with two guys closed out with perfect distribution, he wins like twenty percent gammons. With three guys closed out, it must be like I don't know. In this position, I mean, if he, if he wins the game, he wins a gamut 100% of the time, probably, right? I mean, with these outside guys, with two guys on the roof, he probably won a gamut all, all, all the time anyway. Abe's going for it. He's not lifting the rear guys. He's, um, I don't know what he's going for, but he's playing it big. Double twos fans again. Double twos has to clear and take one off. Double twos fans again. Two one, two off. Perfect roll. Five two one enters. They got two more to come in. Four three, two off. Five two one in. Oh wow, it's getting close to the I don't even want Oh my goodness, it's a It's a backgammon! Oh my goodness, that's so sick. Wow. Abe is not one to be messed with. He goes from my from plus eight to plus 
20 in a single game. Nebs that switches out with Mochi. Wow. And they lose six each. So Mochi is now just plus one. And Nebzet is minus 21. Wow, 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 wee, wow, wow. 6 1 makes the bar. Abe is on fire. 6 4 hits. Does the man ever miss? 6 5 fans again. I smell something. Is it coming? Is it the cube? You got to give this cube. Come on, man. The guy just fan. There's another blot out there. You're making the structure. You're up 13 pips in the race. You're just locking it up, aren't you? Okay, so there he is. He makes the eight. Double sixes. He can't take it anymore, he says. He doubles. And are they sick of him winning every game? This is... This is how you know if someone's on tilt, right? This looks like a pretty clear pass, but the guy just beat you out of a BG. Are you pissed? Scoop! Of course Abe would take this. It's not saying much. One five, Abe just needs to get the other guy around. Four two, now there's a five prime. No, 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 five prime. Oh, you can make the four. Wow, well, making the four is just a little bit better. I would make the five prime too. Five four. This is a, I love this play. Uh, that Mochi and the computer are, 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 are playing here. It, is bigger than I think I might have played over the board, especially after losing a BG. <laughs> Five one. Yeah, just a little better distribution. Trying to roll that into the six prime. Okay, double threes attacks. That's for sure. You put the guy on the roof. And do you make the five or do you anchor? Anchoring? This probably wins more. Does it? Hmm. Super tough. Two four has to hit. That's not a good number. I mean, you're not upset. Like, I mean, you're still winning. Two six, yeah, right. Whoa, that is a big play. And a five. And a one. Oh, and the double hit, of course. Yes. And if he doesn't roll the two, he's dead. Three, six, just one in. Look at all the blots. I think people are talking about making bets on the outside. Nobody wants to bet on XG Mobile. They only want to bet on regular XG, which I understand. So we hit and just go to the, what, the uh, 10 point? Oh, we're looking up the, the last cube in the middle of the game. Three, double anchors now. Three, one, distribution. You could cover, but hitting is not great, getting that guy off of the, uh, the two point like that. You want him to crash, right? He could have hit, but he didn't. Hitting would be a massive blunder. Because in double anchor games and back games, it's all about timing, right? And if you hit him, his timing actually improves. You want him to speed up and come forward like he rolled in the other game, sitting on that side of the board. Now Abe rolls double threes. Yes, bring it in, bring it in. Three and then two comes in. Six, five, okay, Abe can't get gammoned anymore. Six, two. Six one, I guess it was. Double twos. So he goes to clear the six. 
The bot is saying take three guys off. Which is tough. You generally want to clear from the rear in these games, but there is always something to be said about taking guys off, right? Because when you take guys off and then you get hit later on, you still have a chance to win later because you took guys off, right? It increases later winning chances after getting hit, while sometimes clearing from the rear will prevent you from getting hit at all. So it's a tough act to balance. 2-4, it does hit. You have to hit. And the question is, where is the 4? Coming out with both is clear. He fans. How many guys does he have off? Just three? They're thinking about it. I personally would hold off. But only because I'm down 74 pips. Mochi doubles. It's a great double. Mm -hmm. It would have been better to cover, though. Now he's really unhappy. No two, three, four. Double twos, that covers. Go to the 14. You don't want to split. The ones are going to leave you shots anyway, and the three gets you off the 24 point while you're down 65 pips still. 57 now. Okay. So now Nevzet doubles because Mochi doubled before, and we'll see that Nevzet is actually taking over the game. But if he wins this game, I do not think he becomes the box. Uh, he needs to slot the seven. No, 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 no. Slot the seven. No, you need a six prime. You need to slot the seven. If he rolls one six, he rolls one six. I mean, you're down 40 something pips. You make the seven. It doesn't matter if he enters with the one. You don't have to worry about him rolling sixes and then you having to hit him on the outside. You just slot the seven. You give him the one six before he ever rolls a one. Then you just cover it and then just roll it forward and the game is gin. See here, still, slot the seven, slot the seven. He's worried about 6-1. Don't be worried about 6-1. Be worried about one, because then you're going to have to hit loose, and then if he rolls another one, you're, you're going to have all these struggles, right? See, instead of just having the six prime, you have to pray he doesn't roll an ace. He doesn't roll an ace. Double fives, okay. This worked out, but it was not ideal. So Nebzet is actually playing on the bottom now. But it is not his captainship. If that's a term. 2-1, two, 2 off, 6-3. This game is looking pretty good for Nevzet to win four points. Mochi wins two, that's for sure. That already happened, so let's give him a plus three. Double twos. Abe doesn't roll double sixes again. Five, two, okay, good. So Abe loses six points, so he is now plus 14. Nevzet wins four, he's minus 17. But yeah, I'm just fixing the audio again. So now Mochi is on top playing Nevzet, but because Mochi was the captain of the last game, and we're not playing last man standing rules, Mochi is actually the box now, okay? And Nevzet is the captain. I know it sounds complex, but if you rewind and listen again, it's not so complex. Mochi is the box. Nevzet is the captain. And their score over the board matches mine, which is good. Mochi fan, Nevzet. 
doubles, monster pass. Nevzat wins uh, just one point because he wasn't the box. So 16, Abe also wins a point. 15, Mochi was the box. That's plus one. And now it's Abe versus Nevzat. One, yep, makes the seven. Four, one. Yeah, four. Oh, yeah, no, the double hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, both plays are, are, are good. But the double hit, I mean, I liked a little bit more. Oh, what are you hitting on? You could just make the... Make the nine and lift the three. Just structure over everything, my friend. Structure over everything. We don't need to hit on the deuce. Especially with Abe rolling. You know he's going to hit you. Double threes. Enters. And okay, that's a, that's a joker. Five, three fans. And Dusky. Dusky is a shorthand term for double. I'm kidding. All right, so six comes out, five makes the point. It's more important than making the outside point, making this point. What's happening here? Is he not doubling this? Yeah, I know, you gotta double this and then you gotta pass this. Now it's, see, I think like three or four times in this, they missed the initial cube, which is pretty, pretty powerful cubes, and then they just roll the joker. And instead of winning multiple points, you just won the minimum. So here, the score is now minus 14 for Nevzet, plus 14 for Abe, and Mochi is square, back to even, or down to even. Hey, not a good trend. Five games left, Abe is declaring. What was that? How did that checker get on the five point like that? Double sixes. The one thing you don't want to see after splitting with an ace is double sixes, because then you're just like, wow, I could have done. And I was like, ah, I can't even. <laughs> five, four, two down. Oh, wait, what? Why hit? I think about this like, uh, jujitsu positions sometimes, right? It's like some people just like go for the choke holder but lose like the dominating position that they're in. And I just think about position before submission, even though here you just really have no choice but to use the ace to hit. There's no better better use for it. A6 is out. He's thinking, but no need to think any longer. 5-2 misses. Goes to the four again. You don't want to play two down here because it just makes it too easy on the uh, the checker on the 18 to, to try and find a way to clean up. Now he's got deuces to hit. Deuces and sevens, maybe some sevens hit. Maybe. I mean, obviously not one six, that would be an impossibility, but like is five two hitting? It's possible. Four three is unlikely. 5-2, would 5-2, well, 5-2 has to hit, but two's down, five covers. What is this? 6-2, yeah, you've got no choice. It's not a position he can really double you from. 6-4, double pass, and A. Wait, was Mochi up top that game? Oh my goodness, I messed it up. Forgot to switch it. Sorry guys, Mochi was on top. Now he's playing Abe on the bottom. It's tough. And now it is plus one for Mochi, plus 15 for Abe, minus 16 for Nevzak.
three two okay stopped him from making the five point for the time being but not for too long so I guess here you're just gonna come out and make the 11 seems reasonable five one makes the five and hits two three anchors great shot double twos just makes the four and the 11 you could make the seven, but there's no better place for the checkers on the six point to go than making the four, so it is more efficient to do that. And they could just miss, right? Oh, look at that. The three one is supposed to double hit again. Oh my goodness. Ha, huh. good luck. <laughs> Abe declares he's in rat hole mode, just trying to take the wind down. 6-1 makes the 5. 4-3 fills in the gap there. Yep, now he's got the 5 prime. 6-1. Oh, pull the trigger on this one. Oh, what a sick play. Do it, Abe. Pull the trigger. For those of you in Europe, a trigger is something on a... Oh, he's leaving a shot anyway, though. And he doesn't escape the prime. This just looks weaker. He's giving a shot with no upside. Yeah, you got to get the cube for this one. They both take, and they miss. But the 6-4 does leave a shot. 4-3 misses. So 3 and then 4. Double twos does not get to leave for Mochi which was something he would do immediately with those two checkers on the ace and deuce. Two one, small rolls, two, and then just make the one. Five three, okay. Abe's got a board. No real priming structure, though for some reason Mochi's staying primed, can't help it. Just the numbers he's getting. 6-1, now he has to come out. You cannot just leave shots the other way. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. well, we need to come out. We have to, yeah, we're coming out. We have to. Can't play without coming out. We'll play no question where we can. Especially now that he has the, the one point made. Yeah. 6-5, yeah, so you don't get hit by 6-5 is what they're saying. 6-4 happens. No, no, no. It's a legal roll. 3-1 hits, and the 3 just comes out. Because you want to keep the 5 prime in case the guy enters. Oh, my God. Double threes. Hits, hits, hits. And then... Oh my, look at the best play, four to one, hitting the third guy and then going to the ace point. There is no way Abe is going to the ace point. It's impossible. Maybe there, yeah. I think we could. I don't want to Look how he slapped it. He's definitely going there. We actually lean on Oh, is he going to find it? Oh! He sees it. He knows it's good. You hear that ha huh in his voice. That's when he knows a play is good, but he wants to play bigger anyway. Oh, it's just a two, no four. Ooh. Five, two makes the two. One, four, three, 